everyone and welcome back to Teacher Sai. For today's episode, ang topic po natin is Empowerment Technologies, 43, Module 4. At ang focus po niyan ay Advanced Technique using Microsoft Word. Tayo po ay magkakaroon ng hands-on activity na may merge. So, let us start with a scenario. Read the given scenario below and answer the following questions concisely. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So, for this scenario na kagayan, you were tasked to create and send out formal invitations for a promo campaign that a company is running. You were also initially given a list of 10 names of loyal customers to send out to. So, from the scenario above, describe briefly how you would most likely complete the task of sending 10 invitations with individual names of recipient using Microsoft Word. So, ayan. For example, tayo ay nag-work na sa isang company, tapos inutusan tayo ng ating boss, uh, send nyo po ito, yung ating invitation sa ating mga loyal customers. So, tayo bilang isang office staff, ang gagawin natin is we're going to create an invitation letter for them Tapos, it's usual, di ba, tinatype natin yung mga names ng ating mga customers. So, kung meron tayong 10 names, definitely meron tayong 10 na letters. Okay? So, ayan. Give an example of documents that you can personalize and send for this to be. Siyempre, dahil ikaw ay nakatuto kay Teacher Zai, ayan, meron tayong sample answer dyan. For number one, I will use the mail merge function of Microsoft Word. So, o, di ba, yung Saktong-sakto yung ating topic for today, which is mail merge. Ganun din, sakto yan sa ating scenario na binigay. So, yung number two, answer ko dyan is yung mga sample document is letter, invitation, certificates, and card. Let us now discuss the mail merge. So, this feature of Microsoft Word allows you to create documents and combine them with another document or Data. So, ayan, si Mail Merge pala is type siya ng document na kung saan gagamit tayo ng ibang document or data. Let's say, gagamit tayo ng Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access. Iko-connect natin sa document. So, it is commonly used when sending out advertising materials to various recipients. So, ayan, kung tayo ay mamimigay ng mga advertising materials, invitations, Cards, so we are going to use mail merge. The simplest solution for the previous scenario is to create a document and just copy paste it several times. Then just replace the details depending on whom you sent it to. Ang sabi natin, ita type natin yung mga names ng ating mga loyal customer para isend yung kanilang letters. Pero ang sabi dito kasi is, pwede naman din daw na i-copy-paste na lang kung meron na tayong list. So, but what if you have hundreds or thousands of recipients? Ayan. So, paano na lang kung ganyan kadami yung inyong sisendan or gagawa ng letter? Let's say thousands of recipients. O, diba? Would not that take too many hours? What if you have a small database on information where you can automatically generate those Letter. So, ayan. Di ba ang ganda na? Kung meron tayong database ng ating mga loyal customers, tapos automatic na malalagay yung mga names nila sa letter. Okay? So, I will show you today kung paano gagamitin yan using mail merge. So, ito yung example no another software na gagamitin. Ang ginamit ko is Microsoft Excel. Ayan, meron siyang name, position, company name, address, and salutation. So, for the name, naglagay lang ako ng mga dami names. So, magdagdag tayo ng additional name dito. Ayan. Siyempre, lalagay na rin natin sila ng position. Siguro, ang gagawin ko muna dito ay application letter. Ano ba? Since almost all students ngayon, I think gagawa kayo ng application letter because of your work immersion. Company name, syempre, dapat meron na rin tayong mga example. Okay. Yan. Okay. Si Chow King. And we also have Dunkies. 
Okay, so for the address, ilagay natin si Jollibee ay sa Japan, si McDo ay sa Korea, si KFS ay sa Tugigaraw, si Chow King is Palawan, okay, Donkeys is Negros Occidental. Ayan, for the salutation, I guess since all of them are girls, ayan, so madam. Ayan, except Kai, Remy. Let's say, gawin natin, sir. Ayan, then save muna natin sa ating document. Let's name it as list. So, lakihan ko lang. Ayan. Save ko siya. As you can see, that is an Excel file. Ayan. Okay, so, next naman is puno tayo sa ating Microsoft Word. So, ito yung aking sample application letter. As you can see, may date dyan. Lagi ko na yung date today, April 23. Pero lagi, going to 2027. Okay. So, ayan. Name of hiring manager, title, company name, address, and ang ating salutation. Okay, so next, gagawa na po tayo ng ating mail merge. Ayan, ay makikita sa mail news ribbon. Then just click Start Mail Merge, arrow down sa baba ang step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So, ayan, makikita niyo sa left side, uulitin ko po, Start Mail Merge, tapos sa step-by-step. Okay, ayan, doon muna tayo sa step 1. Ayan, pipiliin ko ay letter, kasi letter po ang gagawin natin. Next, ayan, use the current document, of course, ito lang mismo yung tinip natin. Okay, so next tayo. Ayan, so select recipient. Pwede tayong mag-use an existing list. Diba kanina, nag-type na tayo. Just click browse. Okay, so once na mag-browse, hanapin natin, sinave ko sa document, hanapin natin yung list. Ayan. Then just press OK. Ayan, yung sheet number 1. O, diba? Ito yung mga tinape natin kanina. Ilisa niya, RM, Erika, and Remy. Then, just click OK. Alright. So, next po tayo. Just click Next. Ayan. Andito na po ang ating mga recipients. So, let's write our letter. Ayan. X ko muna. Highlight ko yung name of hiring manager or supervisor. Click ako ng more items. Tapos, click name insert. Ayan, so title of hiring manager. Kanina yung mga position nila. Okay, ayan. Position. Tapos sa company name, company address. Ilagay na lang yun po natin yan. I-highlight lang. Tapos more items. Tapos click nyo kung anong field ba siya. Dapat. Tapos yung dear. Teka lang, space ko muna. Tapos lalagyan ko ng salutation. Ayan, insert. Okay. So, teka lang yung address ko, parang dalawa. So, highlight ko kasi, ayan, ay dapat na company name. Okay. So, just click next. Pagkapos na, ayan, o ba napalitan na automatic na yan. Kasi, ayan, ay connected na sa ating database na Excel. Okay, so, ayan yung tinatawag na mail merge. Diba? Isang best lang ako nag-type, tapos kinalek ko lang yung word ko sa Excel. So, next, next lang, then click individual letters. Okay? Again, edit individual letters. Tapos, all, then press OK, and viola. Meron ka ng maraming letters. Okay? Same content, but different recipient. Okay? So, ayan po si new merge natin. Alright, so dahil tapos na tayo sa ating mail merge, meron tayong activity for today. So, answer what is asked in three sentences or less. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So, number one, how essential is Microsoft Word mail merge function in different organizations? Number two, provide an example where it would be easier to use the Microsoft Word function when sending out letters. Then number three, in Microsoft Word, when do photos or graphics damage the document rather than help? Of course, alam ko, hinihintayin nyo ang ating mga answers. For answers number one, the word may merge feature 
of Microsoft Office is considered to be an essential aspect of the application since this allows the organization the opportunity to construct several documents at once. Okay, and also the answer for number two and three is also provided for you. If you think nakatulong sa inyo ang ating tutorial and lesson for today, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga lessons ko. Thank you!